Greetings, everybody, and welcome to Madrid Ball. I hope you all are safe and sound. The Madrid Derby is here. One of the biggest matches of the La Liga calendar is about to be played in a matter of hours, and this game again promises to be a mouth-watering encounter. Both the teams have different mindsets going to the game. From Real Madrid's point of view, it's an opportunity to slam Atletico out of the title race. They want to get rid of the competition, and from Atletico's point of view, the game provides them an opportunity to cut down the massive gulf between the two teams in the table. You can see here Atletico are 10 points behind Madrid with the game in hand. The tables have turned this year. In the previous season, it was Atletico who were running away with an early season lead, and this time it's Los Blancos who rather unsurprisingly have made an incredible start to the season, and that is why this is a very important game for both the teams involved. The dynamics of the title race can be altered to an extent after tonight's game, and as always, it's also the case of acquiring the bragging rights of being the best team in Madrid, and without a shadow of doubt, both the teams are coming into the game with a lot on the line. So in this video, we'll do the pre-match analysis of Real Madrid versus Atletico Madrid. We'll go through the words of Carlo Angelotti, and lastly, we'll end this video by doing the match predictions. So come on, let's get started. And if we start by analysing the season of Atletico Madrid, this has been one of the strongest Atletico sides that we have seen. They made some good additions in the summer, with Luis Suarez on the decline. They have managed to bring in Antoine Griezmann, which was basically a gift from Barcelona. The player wanted to end his horrible spell with the Catalan, Simeone personally requested the management to bring him back and fast forward Atletico have managed to get a very good attacking lineup. They have quality players, they have experience, Griezmann has started to get more comfortable in the side. Another player that I think Atletico have as a secret weapon is Matthias Cunha. The Brazilian caught the eye of Atletico with his performance in the Olympics. Atletico were very willing to pay the price to Hertha Berlin. Simeone hasn't used him much this season but more recently he has been getting more action and in those minutes the youngster has shown plenty to be impressed about. He runs at the defence, there's a lot of verticality in the way he plays, he isn't afraid of taking on defenders, he's a dynamic player, has the pace to trouble the opposition's defence, and I'd say in limited minutes, he has surely shown the Atletico fans why the club brought him in in the first place. And last but not the least, Simeone also has the Argentine Ankel Correa, who has played an impactful role from the bench, but I won't at all be surprised if Simeone decides to start him in tonight's game. So certainly we can see Atletico are quite resourceful in the attacking department in the midfield, Atletico have brought in Rodrigo de Paul, who's exactly the kind of player that Simeone likes. He was a good signing for them. Simeone has placed a lot of faith in him. He's much of an all-rounder in the midfield. He'll do the hard work tracking back. He can also be creative with the ball. We have seen him make some brilliant through balls, but surely he can take another step up. The expectation is much more from him, and maybe in the coming months we'll get to see him play even better as he gets more and more settled in his new side. We'll also be seeing the likes of Marcos Lorente playing on the right. Simeone did say that Lorente would have the defensive task of tracking Vinicius Junior, but as you have seen, even though he plays in the wing-back position due to injuries in the side, he's more focused on creating on the wings, and that is where I think Vinicius will have his moments. So Atletico have the talent to beat any side in the world, but the problem is that despite making useful additions, it has not translated into better performances and better results on the pitch. Simeone is still unsure of his best starting eleven. He's trying to accommodate all the players. He's still attempting to get the right balance in the side. Some new faces have come in. The likes of Griezmann again need time to get back in the groove with Simeone's tactics. As we know, Barcelona and Atletico have contrasting styles of play, and Griezmann himself admitted that he's still getting used to the tactics of Simeone. And lastly, the major problem that Atletico have had this year has been the defence, and that is quite surprising because the defence has really been the identity of Atletico. Over the past few years, they have put great pride in the way they defended as a team. They're a physical side, they have often managed to come up with excellent defensive records, but this season that has not been the case. The defence has been leaky, there have been individual errors, or Black, who has been a reliable keeper in goal has not been that reliable this season. He has had his own moments of madness, and certainly Simeone needs to find out a way to fix the defensive issues. Injuries in defence have also played a part. Trippier, Savage, Vasalko are all out of the game, and what I think is that Simeone needs to get the midfield and the backline to come together and defend as a strong unit. There have been a few changes which have altered the dynamics of the defensive game. Koke as well has not played very well. He needs to pick up form very soon, and another thing that we have noted from seeing Atletico's game is that once they have position, they are not quick enough to pass the ball around and trouble the opposition. Sometimes their passing is just too slow and predictable. This was the issue against Mallorca where Kubo delivered the knockout blow. You can also look at the way they played against Cadiz. They were slow in the build-up play, they tried to use the flanks to deliver crosses, but Cadiz were well organised at the back and were quite easily clearing those crosses. They did change things in the second half, they scored four goals, and this is where they showed their attacking class and the crisp passing, but what we need to see from Atletico is more consistency. They have 
had good moments, but there are plenty of things to work upon. In the Champions League, they have not played the best of football. They qualified after making things edgy for the Athletic fans. And Simeone needs to get more out of the current side that he has at his disposal. He needs to get his team to play together as a unit. And I think he will get his team to play much better in the months to come. He's trying out different formations. He has used the 3-5-2, the 4-4-2. He's still trying to figure out the best setup. And let's see if he can get things right in the all-important Madrid derby. And now if we talk about Real Madrid, Ancelotti has the desire of winning La Liga for the first time as a Real Madrid coach and in the process, he has to get some favourable results in the big games. The good thing for him is that he has a reliable bunch of players who are all fit for the game. The likes of Karim Benzema and Gareth Bale have been given the green light by the medical services. But again, the big question is, will Ancelotti start Benzema in the game? The likelihood is high because we have seen him training with a team that usually indicates that the player is good to go. And in the press conference, Ancelotti said that Benzema would play in today's game. So that does settle things about the involvement of the Frenchman. Moving on, let's hear what the coach had to say in the pre-match press conference. He spoke about the opposition, the value of the La Liga title. He was asked what the derby represents to him and Ancelotti said, the statistics say that it's three points, but then you've got the emotional aspect involved in playing a derby against a direct rival. The fact that they are direct rivals puts both the team under more pressure because it's a special match for the fans. It's three points on the table and we'll be going out there to get them and put smiles on the faces of our fans. Then Ancelotti was asked about Vinicius Jr. He was asked if he was worried about the tackles that Vinicius has to endure and the man marking that he may be facing in the game. He said, We don't think about that. It will be a close game with duels. Atletico are fighting like us for a lot of goals. It's a very solid team with individual and collective qualities. They will do all to implement a strategy to have an advantage in the game and in the match. Then Angelotti was asked if winning the match against Atletico would mean having one hand on La Liga. But Angelotti dismissed any such notion. He said, We have shown that we have done better than other teams so far, but La Liga does not end today. We still have to play for six months and I do not know what can happen. Until today, we have been better, but we are concerned about the future, not the past. And lastly, Angelotti was asked about the value of La Liga and the coach replied, I'll give the La Liga title the same value as any other trophy we've won. The Champions League is the most important competition in Europe and the world. I've never won La Liga here and that motivates me to win it. He further said, I don't know how Atletico will set up. We both like to play on the counter-attacks and we have the players to play in that system. The duels and set pieces will be important and we have to bear that in mind. They're strong opponents and it will be a tough game for both the sides. It will be a good contest and one that both sets of supporters will love. So that concludes the pre-match thoughts of Carlo Ancelotti and let's wrap up this video by doing the match predictions. In goal, undoubtedly, we will be having Thibaut Coutoua. In defence, the best defenders that we have will be fielded by Ancelotti. It's a tough game and we are coming up against a quality attack, so it's going to be a big challenge for the backline. In the midfield, my gut says that Ancelotti may again go with the veterans Modric, Cruz and Casemiro. They have been the trusted try of Ancelotti and we've also seen there's a sense of reluctance from moving on from the three maestros. There's obviously a chance that Ancelotti may put his faith in Valverde to match the intensity of Atletico, but my bet will be on KCM starting the game. And finally, attack. We do have some uncertainty in that department. Will Jovic start ahead of Benzema? Will Angelotti contemplate on giving Bale an opportunity? These are some of the questions that the coach has to think upon. However, we do know that one player will surely be starting. Vinicius Jr. looks untroppable in the sign at the moment, and we all are going to expect another sparkling performance from the Brazilian. In the centre, I think Ancelotti will go with Benzema, and on the right, I predict the coach will opt for Rodrigo. So that, as you see, is my predicted lineup. And as for the scoreline prediction, I predict Real Madrid 2, Atletico Madrid 1. The Los Blancos would be looking to continue the winning streak. Atleti are also missing some crucial players, which will force Simeone to field a makeshift defence. And thus, I feel positive that Madrid will be white come the end of the night. So that is all I have here. Do let me know how you're feeling ahead of the game and what scoreline are you predicting. Let me know in the comments below. I'll see you soon. Till then, take care. Glory to Madrid. And as always, a Madrid.